Someone asked if I could make videos of apartments and homes and neighborhoods that are near the mall. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So this is the Alta Brisa Plaza, also known as Alta Brisa Mall. It's what we would call it in the States. Here they call it Plaza Alta Brisa. It's very big, but very big. Um, you got all your regular stores. That building right behind the mall, that white top, that is Star Medica Hospital. Uh, there's also another hospital back here. It's actually a public hospital. Um, we've been here on two occasions, and if you get sick, go in and you don't pay. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. Now, you might have to wait a while. Like I say, this particular area has everything. This is all Teresa. You got all these restaurants, um, Burger King, and a Korean Asian restaurant across the street, a karaoke bar. And like I say, even here, just in this mall here, uh, they got a sushi roll, Fud Records, PF Chang's, there's an IHOP. I don't know if you can see the IHOP logo there. So let's hop in the car and hit this street. As you can see here, the little roads here, a little cobblestone in this area. Uh, there's a couple of plazas and medical offices over there. The sun is a little bright. Um, you might not be able to see that too well, but I forget the name of these towers here, but it's like a little, I mean, very high end. But here is a couple of neighborhoods. There's quite a few neighborhoods in Alta Brisa. In this area, things are going to be a little more pricier. Um, but you have proximity to everything very close to the Petty Medico, which is the perimeter around Medina. Um, here's a grocery store right here. If you were to stay in this area and they're building new apartment homes, I mean, literally all over the place. So like I said, they're building apartments all over the place, literally everywhere. And it looks like it's gonna be very, very nice. There's a phone number there. I'm gonna see you can yeah, there's a phone number there on the thing on the building. Grab that, call them if you're interested. I'm sure they might have some free sales and whatnot. Give you pricing information. But this area also runs into Monte Bayo, which is an upscale neighborhood uh, here in the northern part of Medida as well. If you like to stay in this area so you can explore it more, there's a little hotel here called Hotel Mission Express. That's my first time seeing it, so I don't know much about it, but that was the sign. You can get the phone number, give them a call, or look online and see what their rates are. But as you can see, very active area, got everything you need. That there is uh, the, the, one of the main bus lines, I know. There's also a, a bus station here uh, in this vicinity right across the street from the hospital as well. So if you do a lot of traveling and go places, you can, you can definitely catch the bus from there. Also, because the hospital is here in this area, uh, there are lots of doctor offices close by, um, lots of medical offices and medical supply stores in the area. So if you need medical equipment for whatever reason, there's a bunch of stores in the area to get that. So sleep apnea machines, wheelchairs, um, shower seats, all that stuff. So if you need healthcare on a regular basis, regular checkups and whatnot, uh, this would be a great area to hang out at. So cobblestone all up and down this street. Now why the camera's shaking a little bit, but here are some houses, some for sale, some for rent. This is a pretty busy street. Ideally, you want to go a block over. Here's our neighborhood, Provada. Really nice, as you can tell. Like I say, Alta Brisa is a little bit more upscale area. You're going to pay for it. However, there are some areas here where you can find some pretty good deals uh, in certain pockets. But you're going to have to look. So pretty area, you got money exchange offices down here. Again, you got more pharmacies, uh, it's on the bus route. There, the Hilton Garden Inn, that there is called Uptown Plaza. 
there's the Walmart inside. Um, this is the money exchange place here if you need to exchange money. Uh, but there's a theater in the mall. Uh, Hilton Garden Inn up top. A couple of restaurants down there. There's a TGIF Fridays in there as well. And barbershops, dental offices, little medical spas, and a little bit of everything. The other side of Alta Brisa, coming from the other direction, the mall is right up over there. A bunch of clinics here. You can come over here and get blood testing, x rays, CT, MRIs, all of that. So, this area here is pretty vast. So all of this is very close proximity to the mall. Beautiful plate there that makes furniture out of driftwood. Area crossed over to an area called Colonia Maya, which is right next to Alta Prisa. Ideally, uh, now I think we're in the area called Paraiso Maya, which means Mayan paradise, Mayan paradise. Um, houses and rentals are probably be a little cheaper here versus staying in the Alta Brisa, but the benefit here is you're right smack next to Alta Brisa. You can walk into it. And again, they got a little bit of everything. Plazas here, fitness center there. Four apartment building they got going up. Like I say, this area is growing better than growth. More building behind there. But this is what a typical area will look like, even in the upper scale, upper echelon neighborhoods. You got your gates, you got your fences, well not fences, but you got your walls. And when you walk in through these walls and walk into the door, a lot of these places are just absolutely gorgeous. They have food trucks up and down this strip. They generally open up in the evening hours. Need some good food and coffee. More plazas. There's a little seafood spot up in there. I hadn't been there called Los de Pescado. And check this guy out selling furniture here. Kind of hard to see. We're about to pull up, go up to our neighborhood, which is in Concao, and we're only about 10, eight minutes away. 10 minutes to Alta Brisa, less than that actually. I think this weekend, we may be going back to Tikul, um, which is that town where we buy wholesale shoes in. It's a town full of wholesale shoemakers. And, um, you know, we may be going back out there this weekend. And we have some trips planned for the upcoming uh, spring and summer. So hopefully, um, you know, we'll be able to continue to document and share. Still trying to get my way out there to cause a mail, check things out from my understanding. Things are a little affordable, quite affordable there living on that island. So I want to go check that out, see for myself. Um, and check out some other parks throughout Mexico this year. So we're gonna be doing a little bit more traveling this year um, to share more of Mexico. And then hopefully near the end of the year, maybe get out of Mexico and just travel to some other countries for the short term, just to be able to highlight and share. If you need help finding a place, or would like to hop on the phone and talk, plan out a strategy, book a telephone consultation, I got the link in the description. As always, if you find our content helpful, please consider making a donation. Um, those donations help for us to get out there, pay for gas, go out to the neighborhood.